Good morning. What did Jeremiah ask King Zedekiah to do? Our reading today is from Jeremiah 27, verses 12 to 15. I also spoke to Zedekiah, the king of Judah, according to all these words, saying, Bring your necks under the yoke of the king of Babylon, and serve him and his people, and live. Why will you die, you and your people, by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence, as the Lord has spoken against the nation that will not serve the king of Babylon? Therefore do not listen to the words of the prophets who speak to you, saying, You shall not serve the king of Babylon, for they prophesy a lie to you. For I have not sent them, says the Lord, yet they prophesy a lie in my name, that I may drive you out, and that you may perish, you and the prophets who prophesy to you. So what did Jeremiah ask King Zedekiah to do? Well, two things. First of all, he was to submit to the yoke of the king of Babylon. You know, pay the tribute, uh, remain in your own land. Remember, the kingdom of Judah had gotten way off the track, and God is using Babylon to chasten his people. So, you know, they kind of have to go along with God's plan. They can't resist that, or they're still in rebellion against him. So now these people were feeling entitled. They were feeling wealthy. They they were uh, glad to kind of go their own way. They felt like they were advancing spiritually to new and higher ideas. And their simplicity was gone, and they were dabbling with, you know, some syncretism, you know, the adding in of other pieces. Well, we'll keep this, and we'll add this from Baal worship. We'll add this from the worship of Chemosh, and so on. And they were getting kind of high and lifted up in their own heads and were losing their way. Now, the second thing that Jeremiah asked was, do not listen to the false prophets. Don't listen to them. And sadly, Zedekiah did not listen to Jeremiah. He kind of went on in the direction that the false prophets were leading. And it was, in fact, the false prophets who led in the charge to revolt against Babylon. They said, this will all be over soon. God's going to deliver. You just go ahead and let's rebel, and it'll be too much for them to handle. We'll be able to be free. It wasn't true because, of course, God himself was chastening them via his agents, the ones he was using, whether they understood it well or not, Babylon. And so this was very front and center on God's uh, to-do list. He's dealing with his people. He's not going to let this slip or slide somewhere. No, this we can't rebel against this. We need to go along and, and submit to the chastening of God. So Jeremiah gives him this counsel, and, of course, the best we can tell, Zedekiah uh, went the way that the people wanted. And so it was disaster continuing all along. Now, the end result was the return of Babylon, a very terrible siege of Jerusalem. At one point, the king goes out and he tries to escape. He's captured on the plain. Uh, They capture him. They capture his children. They kill his children before his eyes. Then they put his eyes out, and he spends his last years and dies. Zedekiah dies in Babylon. Uh, Altogether tragic because he would not submit to God or receive God's help or protection. So these terrible, terrible things happened to him and to his people. At this time, to rebel against Nebuchadnezzar was to rebel against God's plans and purposes, and that never ends well. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, your counsel is always best, and this is why we should read the Bible closely. This is why we should listen to your prophets with care and strong attention. Lord, when we follow your guidance, we prosper. When we disregard your guidance, there's like always disaster. So please, Lord, help us to be seeking your guidance. Help us to be listening. Help us to be seeking out and following the counsel your prophets give us in the Bible. All inspired counsel that you give is for us today. So may we take heed and listen and not make these kind of mistakes that led to such tragic endings for this individual, King Zedekiah. Oh Lord, we look to you. Be our God and be our guide. We thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So Jeremiah asked King Zedekiah to submit to the king of Babylon and to not listen to his false prophets. And he did the opposite. And the rest, sadly, is history. May your and my history be a lot brighter as we do what God tells us. God be with you today in this day that he gives you.